All right, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Do you want to back up your phone to the cloud? Um, well, iCloud does that, but you might be out of iCloud space. And there's also some perks to doing that with Google, or you may not have an iPhone, so you may have to use Google. So here's uh, how you do this. You use an app called Google One, and you can set it up to sync your data every time you're on Wi-Fi so that you keep a good backup on Google One. Sometimes I prefer Google over uh, iCloud. And uh, here's how you set this up to sync, okay? So first off, you need the Google One app from the App Store. In a previous video, I showed you how to download that. But in the Google One app, this just is where you manage all your storage for everything on your Google Drive, on your Gmail, on your Google Photos account, and everything else, okay? so. When you log in and you come to the home screen, you have all different information. I did a previous video just now where I showed you how to manage the storage, things like that. But then when you click on here at the bottom, you click on storage, the little cloud at the bottom. See it's blue now, I'm selected it. When you scroll down, you'll see synced data and you'll see iPhone. Click the drop down. And you'll see that you can sync your contacts, your calendars, your photos and videos. Um, my photos and videos are off. My calendar says I can check if the sync is on and same with contacts. So to check, click on view settings. And photos and videos are, is off. Let's go ahead and turn that on. It's going to make me get the Google Photos app. I used to have this, but I took it off. I think I ran out of space on my phone. Double click it to install. Let's try it again. There we go. I wasn't looking at my camera so it didn't unlock with my with my face this is probably your favorite part of my videos is where we get to watch apps download there we go open that up baby actually um, let's not open that let's go back to Google one do you guys know that trick I just did if you go to the bottom of your screen and you swipe up like that you'll see every app you have open and you can flip through and quickly just switch to that app. All right, so we're back in Google um, Google One to manage our storage and sync our device. Let's just go back to the start just so you can see if I'm on the home screen at the bottom I click storage and then I click on synced data at the bottom, choose my iPhone, click view settings. Okay, let's start with the uh, photos click on go to google photos it's going to open it up and let me turn on a setting to sync my photos i'm going to go ahead and back it up as kurt i could change to one of my other gmail accounts if i have multiple gmail accounts allow it allow access to all photos allow full access Okay, wow. I got 54,000 photos. This is going to go crazy. All right, backup is on. Backup quality. This is something to be aware of. Backup quality, original quality, no change to quality. That's if you want them to be full, um, full quality, or you can do a slightly reduced quality and it'll take up a lot less space, okay? I'm gonna leave it on full quality for right now. We'll see how far that gets us. You can tell it if you wanna use cellular data to back up photos and or videos. I recommend not. This is gonna use up, chew up a lot of data. I, I just do it when I'm on my Wi-Fi, okay? So backup is set. Now, look at my hot wife. Look at this. Stay at home mom of six kids right there. Two of them we don't love, so we don't let them come on that trip. All right. Man, 
which is good. Okay. Go back to Google One. And uh, you'll see now my photos and videos are on. They're syncing. And they are the original quality. Then I can go to Contacts and check the status to see if this is syncing. Say yes, it's okay. This can take up to 30 seconds. This is another real crowd pleaser is when we get to watch stuff like this. Oh God, quit trying to tell me to sync that iPhone contacts, not contacts, if I could talk, not synced to Google. Google contacts are synced to my iPhone. Set up the sync. There you go. Now it's taking all my phone contacts and putting them into Google. That's actually not a bad idea to do in case your um, phone goes down. By the way, your iCloud should be backing that up as well but maybe you'll switch one day to a Pixel or some kind of an Android and you'll have a backup of it there. All right, okay, sync future iPhone contacts to Google. Here's how to see future iPhone contacts across Google service like Gmail. This will make Google your default account. What does that mean? I'm not going to do this right now because I like iCloud to be my default account. But here's how you would make it auto sync if you chose to. Um, I need, I personally need iCloud to be my personal, my default account. So I'm going to leave that alone. But feel free to continue if you want to have your contacts sync to um, Gmail and have that be your. Uh, your default account. I'm actually not sure what that means by having it be your default account, but I will do a future video. I'll, I'll dig into that. All right, so contacts are on for only my Google accounts. Calendars, check if sync is on. I don't care to do this. I have my calendars in so many places I don't need it on Google, but you can sync that right there as well. Same process, okay? So that is how you sync your iPhone with Google One so that you're backing up all your photos to Google Photos every time you get on Wi-Fi. If you found that helpful, please leave a comment and let me know what videos I can make in the future. I'm always looking for new content ideas and stick around and watch another video.